So we all know the feeling. Just finished the last Brandon Sanderson book that's been published. You're all caught up on the Cosmere. And now what do you do? Where do you go? What do you read? What is life? What does it mean? All right, so that may be a bit much, but it is a problem. You know, once you finish reading the Cosmere, it's a lot to get through, but you still want more. You want to get into something else. I mean, Brandon Sanderson's fast, don't get me wrong. But still, you don't want to wait until the next Cosmere book comes out. That could be a year away at most, which is, is pretty good. But today we're going to be covering five series that you may want to check out if you're a big fan of the Cosmere as a whole, which includes, you know, the Stormlight Archive, Mistborn, Warbreaker, all that fun stuff. If you like those, you'll probably like these five series. So you may want to check them out. The first one I'd like to recommend to people is Name of the Wind, King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. This to me is one of the most get lost in type worlds that I've read. The world building on this is phenomenal. So if you like the, the scope of Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere, that there's like so much history and, you know, legends and lore and the past and all these theories and there's gods that were, you know, people at one point and then there's stories about those people and and how they became from from people to gods and the legends and the you know religions and all started off of it and there's different paths and there's different all that craziness that's what this is in a much smaller package and by smaller package i mean the king killer chronicles is currently two books and a novella and that's it and that is the 10 year anniversary of the first book that I just pulled out and we are still waiting for the third book. But you could look at that as a feature and not a bug because since there has been so long between the last book and the next book, the fandom has gone crazy with theories and the backstory and the world building on this series is so rich that there is just so much to dive into with that. And to me, that's been my favorite part of this book series. Like the books are great and fantastic, but all the lore and history and theorizing, man, that's fun. So what the books are basically about is you're following Koth. I think I'm saying that right. Name is Quoth. Quoth. Quoth, right? Ish. But basically you find him at this little inn in a little town, appearing to be a pretty much nobody. And the books pretty much are him telling his story from a child on up to where he is now and following him on all of his adventures, learning magic and sword fighting and music and women and everything. A lot of mystery. There's a hard magic system in it and there's a soft magic system in it. So that's a lot of fun. The characters have a lot of depth to them. The writing is very, very pretty. So it's a lot different writing style prose wise from Brandon Sanderson to Patrick Rothfuss. Not that one's better than the other, they are just vastly different. All right, and we can't talk about Brandon Sanderson without talking about The Wheel of Time. I mean, he is the guy they brought in to finish one of the biggest, most epic, iconic fantasy series out there. If you've liked Brandon Sanderson so far and you haven't read Wheel of Time, that really should be one of your next go-to series. So The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan is this epic, I think it's 15 book series. Having read all of Brandon Sanderson's stuff before I got into uh, Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time, reading through it, I'm on book four or five now, you can really see that that's where Brandon Sanderson's roots are as far as a writer goes. You, There's so much that he has pulled from that as inspiration, as just, you know, style wise, the vastness of it, the mysteries when it comes to the magic systems and that sort of thing. It's just, it's very Brandon Sanderson-like, which in the timeline, it's Brandon Sanderson is very much like Robert Jordan. It's where a lot of his inspiration comes from. You can tell that's something he's read a lot um, growing up and you know it's just ingrained in him. So if you've enjoyed the Cosmere and enjoy Brandon Sanderson as a whole, Wheel of Time is really something you should check out. And basically the Wheel of Time, it follows this group of kids. So they start out as kids from this small village. And it's, you know, the basic, you know, farm boy trope, chosen one. And one of them is the Dragon Reborn. And over the series, you 
try to find out who that is, uh, you eventually do, and then they have to stop this evil that's coming back into the world. So very much on the nose fantasy, but just so well done. Like tropes are tropes for a reason, they work. And Robert Jordan did them well. It's top notch fantasy if that's what you're into. Now, if Brandon Sanderson and Robert Jordan are a little too tame for you, then don't worry, I got a grim dark recommendation for you as well, and that's gonna be the First Law Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. And, oh, this was a series that I'm getting through right now, and I cannot get enough of it. So, plot-wise, I, I don't even know how to describe the plot. Stuff happens, but it's not about the plot. These books are about the characters. It is just a deep dive into the psyche of a wide range of characters. And if that's something you enjoy, realistic characters going through difficult things and, you know, seeing where they break and how they break and what breaks them, then this is definitely a series you should check out. And like I said, with the first Law trilogy, you don't really get the you know, the complicated plot lines that you get with Brandon Sanderson and you don't get quite the scope in as far as, you know, the world building goes, but that is more than made up for, in my opinion, on character, just depth. I mean, these are real characters and that's something I've always enjoyed about Brandon Sanderson's writing is the characters, you get to know them. Like they really, there's really no characters in the Cosmere that feel like paper cut out characters to me. They all have some kind of depth and flaws and they react to things like you would think they would react to things like real people. And the First Law Trilogy has that in spades, better than I've seen done anywhere else. As far as character development goes, that's the place to be. But now if Wit and Wayne are your favorite characters from the Cosmere, then the Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks should probably be on your TBR. Coming from the Cosmere, one of the things that's gonna stick out the most with the Lightbringer series is gonna be the magic system. It feels like a Brandon Sanderson magic system. Hands down, it is a hard magic system, lots of rules, pretty complicated. You solve problems with it, it's a lot of fun. That and the the wit and the, the comedy aspects of the Cosmere the Lightbringer series has. The main character that you're following, uh, Gavin Guile, very much a Wit and Wayne type character. If you're well read in the Cosmere, you know what I mean by that. If that's your type of humor, then definitely check these books out. If those are the, like, the worst parts of the books for you, and I know some people that are like that, they just like, they can't stand Wayne, they can't stand, you know, some of Wit's comments and stuff, then maybe this is not for you. I thoroughly enjoyed the series. The writing style is actually pretty similar to Brandon Sanderson. It's, it's not as uh, as flowery or as pretty as, you know, like Patrick Rothfuss or something like that. It's very utilitarian, which is it's nice if you're just coming off of Cosmere to go in something similar. The real differentiating part of the Lightbringer series from the Cosmere is just the scope of it. It's, you know, it's a few books and it doesn't encompass, you know, the entire world. It's, everything's set in a pretty small, you know, setting on that. But other than that, fantastic series, highly recommend it. Now, if Mistborn is your favorite series in the Cosmere and you love you some thieves and thievery, then Lies of Locke Lamore, well, that's right up your alley. So this is not a series I've actually personally read, but I keep getting it recommended to me and it's on my TBR. And what everyone says about this series is that the relationship between the characters is just top notch. The wit and the humor on it just really hits for a lot of people. I don't think it's quite as massive as a world, you know, scope wise as the Cosmere, a few things are other than maybe the Wheel of Time. But if you're looking for well-developed characters, you know, some good wit and camaraderie and relationship building between characters, and also a little bit of thievery, then Lies of Locke Lamore should be something you should add to your list. And if you've already read it, let me know down in the comments, what do you think of it? Because like I said, it's on my TBR, so I'd love to know what you thought of it. So that's just five series that I think you should check out if you've enjoyed Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere. There's a ton of other series out there. Uh, look down below in the comments. If you know of some that you've enjoyed after reading the Cosmere, please put it down in there for everybody else and we'll just kind of get a list going of, of good recommendations because uh, me included, we all need good recommendations. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.